Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to use the blank canvas in Video Robot. You can create different types of videos like 3D avatar videos, kinetic animation videos, whiteboard animation videos using pre made templates. You can also use the blank canvas to create videos from scratch. And that's what I'm going to cover in this tutorial. I'd encourage you to watch these two tutorials to get a better understanding on how to use the timeline and content layers in Video Robot. So I'm logged into my Video Robot account. Click the Create Video button to start your video project. In step 1, choose the blank canvas option and click Next Step. In step 2, you can choose a 3D avatar. Now bear in mind that you can skip this step. I'm going to choose Carlos and then click Next Step. In step 3, you can choose a voice and background music. For the voice, you can see we have a few options like text to speech or TTS. You can record your own voiceover or upload an MP3. I'm going to choose the TTS option. Then you choose a language. I'll stick with US English. Next, we choose a voice. I'll go with Matthew. And in this box, you can type your text for the TTS. I've already pre written my script, so I'll copy and paste it into this box. And finally, click the import speech button. You will see this play audio button and you can use it to preview the audio. You can also add background music. I'll skip this and click next step. In step 4, I'll add a background image by clicking this media library button and I'll choose this blue background and click OK. And finally click next step. So this is the final step where we can customize a video project. Let me just scroll down. I'll start by clicking the actual layer in the content layers section on the right panel. And then I'll use this resize and move button to move this 3D avatar to the right. So it gives me some space on the left to add text elements. Next I'll add a lower third by clicking this button in the elements panel on the left and choosing this one number three and clicking OK. I'll then click the edit button and change the text and click apply. I'll also use the resize and move button to move the lower third a little lower like so. Next I'll place a playhead at the 3 second mark on the timeline below and click on text effect in the elements panel and choose this text effect number 2 and click OK. I'll use the resize and move button to move the element to the left like so. And then click the edit button, change the text, and click apply. Next, I'll place the playhead at the 10 second mark on the timeline. And again, click text effect, and choose this one, number 1, and click OK. Again, I'll use the resize and move button to move the element to the left, like so. You can obviously edit the text like I showed you earlier. And I'll add one final text element by placing the playhead at the 15 second mark and adding a whiteboard element. I'll scroll down and choose this one, number 8, and click OK. I'll click the edit button and change the text and click apply. And finally, I'll use the resize and move button to move the element to the left, like so. And that should do it. You can then preview the video and once you're done, click the Create Movie button, give it a name, choose a resolution and format, and click Create Movie. And here's how the demo video project came out. Hey guys, Anthony here and this is a test video in which I'm using the blank canvas. With the blank canvas, you can use different types of elements, like this 3D avatar, and the animated text that I have also used in this video project. I can also use whiteboard elements like this one. It's a great way to create unique videos in Video Robot.